Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the Al Habtur Group Employee Excellence Awards 2015. First of all, I would like to say a warm welcome to Mr. Khalaf Al Habtur, the chairman of Al Habtur Group. Welcome, Mr. Al Habtur. Our esteemed guests. Our esteemed guests, senior management, and all the Hapturians. The Employee Excellence Awards is one of the main highlights of the year, and each year it gets better and better. It gives us a chance to recognize and reward individuals and teams throughout the entire company. But before we unveil the winners, I would like to acknowledge some key people that have made this event possible. Our thanks goes to the chairman of Al Habtur Group, Mr. Khalaf Al Habtur, one more time, who established the awards back in 2007. His continuous support of the Employee Excellence Awards program has enabled it to evolve into this amazing evening we have ahead of us. It's a collaborative effort across all the units. A big thank you to all the committees who have spent a lot of time and effort in making sure the process is free and fair. I would like to single out a few people. Mr. Mohammed Al-Habtour, Chairman of the Employee Excellence Awards Board. This is the first time that Mr. Mohammed is the Chairman of the program and his input has been invaluable. Thank you, Mr. Mohammed. <laughs> Another thank you to the Audit Board who year after year goes through each submission with a fine tooth comb. Your diligence helps raise the bar for all of us and makes the awards highly competitive. A big thank you to Ms. Roma Andrews. I can't see her, but thank you, Roma. Not just for your tireless effort this year, but every year. I would like also to thank Emirates International School for, this beautiful, for the beautiful performances that add a special touch to our events each year. Another thank you goes to Haptur Grand Beach Resort and Spa, mainly the food and beverage and engineering teams. This beautiful setup we have here tonight with us is down to them. To all the hosts and hostesses, thank you for adding a bit of glamour to the event. Last but not least, I would like to thank you, the nominees and the winners. We are here to honor you tonight for your hard work, commitment, and loyalty to the group. Before we get on with the award ceremony, we have some entertainment for you. As you know, 2015 marked the 45th anniversary of Al Habtur Group, 45 years of success and 45 years of history we're very proud of. To celebrate this occasion, in January, our chairman, Khalaf Ahmad Al Habtur, hosted a VIP gala dinner for more than 650 guests. It was held on the grounds of Al Habtur City, our mark on the UAE skyline, an iconic landmark soon to open. It was an outstanding success due to the hard work and commitment from so many people. I will take this opportunity to thank Al Habtur Group Projects Department, in particular Mr. Yahya Harfouch, for his patience and support. Thank you. Thank you to the Habtur Grand Beach Resort and Spa Food and Beverage teams, namely Chef Paul Hajj and his team, and Massimo Bernardi, Director of FNB, and Ala Eddin Mustafa and their team. Also, a personal thank you from me to the Media and Communications team. I'm very proud to be part of this team. Everyone worked so hard to create a special event. The finale of the 45th anniversary was a special choir performance by Al Habtur Group employees from around all the units. More than 40 Habturians took part in the performance. We've put together a short video to show you just how well our, unit works, our units work together. Video cue, please. To celebrate our 45th anniversary, we invited employees from Al Habtur Group to audition for a very special choir. Over three days, Habturians from every division were judged by an international team of professional singers. I think you could be a very strong singer. Somebody loves me. 
your own applause. You don't? I tried it one time. Now I don't know. This guy's top to a work. I work in Metropolitan Palace Hotel as a receptionist in the front office. I am working in Habtur Grant in Recreation Department. I heard about the additions from my front office manager. It was on the spot and just went for the additions. That's it. Finally, the decisions were made. But there was a surprise in store for the successful candidates. They would be working with Grammy Award-winning composer and musical director Steve Sidwell to create the sound effects for a specially made film about a day in the life of our company. From the first day of rehearsal, uh, it felt so very strange. I thought we we're just gonna be there like a choir, but it was really an extraordinary. It was good and uh, unforgettable experience. Well, our rehearsal, everybody has so much fun. After several days of intense rehearsals, would they be ready for their big night in front of a VIP audience? when they when they get to perform the piece. Hopefully tonight's performance will uh, show off everybody's hard work. Ladies and gents, it is an absolute pleasure. Uh, if you could pl join me, please, in welcoming the one and only Khalif al Hator for his wonderful insight this evening. Ladies and gents, I give you the al Hator Choir and Steve Sidwell.
في سبيشال تي في حطوني Thanks again to all the Hapturians who took part in, uh, in this unique and wonderful experience. And now I can see Mr. Khalaf telling me, shut up and get off the stage. I will do just that, Mr. Khalaf. Enough of me tonight. I'm happy to welcome onto the stage my colleague, Joanna Andrews, to get on with the official proceedings. Joanna? Thank you, Nora. Thank you, Nora. And good evening and welcome to the 2015 Employee Excellence Awards. It's a pleasure to be back here. As you saw from that video at the Al Habtor Group, we know how to work hard, but we also know how to have a little bit of fun while doing so. Our company motto is growing with the UAE. And in the last 12 months, that's more apparent than ever. Since we were here last year, the group has grown significantly. As Nora said, Al Habtor City will soon open and the group has unveiled a further 2 billion dirhams in investments in the UAE. It recently announced a new mega development in Dubai land, the Al Habtor Polo Resort and Club, a new metropolitan hotel on Sheikhzad Road, and the Oasis Villas, a residential unit in the heart of Jumeirah. On top of that, the chairman recently announced his first foray into the US, with the purchase of the President Abraham Lincoln Hotel in Springfield. And this is no doubt just the beginning. The group has become a truly international conglomerate in just 45 years. So imagine what the next 45 years will bring. Tonight we'll be giving out a total of 24 awards to celebrate the very best employees in each of the categories. There are eight categories altogether and we had nearly 100 nominations from around the group, selected by the unit heads. This year, we've made some changes to the lineup. It's the first year ever that we're doing live streaming. So this event is being beamed around the world, as you see, this very moment. So please tell your families and friends at home to watch it, www.habtor.com forward slash live streaming. And we'd also like to encourage some social media, please, as much interaction as possible. It's the usual suspects, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Please use the hashtag EEA2015, one word. And as it's our 45th anniversary year, use AHG45 years, also one word. Your photos from the pre-function and the preparations for this evening will be appearing on these beautiful screens a little later on. Another change we've made this year, just to highlight what a truly unified group we are, is that we've invited several people from around the group to unveil the winners, just like the Oscars. So it's time to get on with the ceremony. Presenting the first two categories, please welcome a regular face to the stage at the EEA Awards, Joe Rogan, Sales Director at Al Habtor Motors. Joining him is Shreya Bhatt, marketing specialist, also from Al Habtor Motors. Good evening, everybody. And thanks, Joanna, for having me back. Um, I must remember to put my fee up for next year. <laughs> Thank you, Joanna. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Recognizing and rewarding talent is very important to Al Habtor Group. The Individual Excellence Award category recognizes those who have excelled whether through innovation or by delivering results. It is those individuals who have passed, who have proved that they are flexible and reliable. The criteria for the Individual Excellence Awards are for staff who have consistently demonstrated a high level of commitment and dedication to the group's values. They have a positive and influential impact on their work environment, are highly motivated, and foster cooperation and collaboration among their peers and supervisors while carrying out their job responsibilities. These people live the values of the Al Tour Group. 
And just to keep you in suspense a little bit longer, before we unveil our first winner, could I please invite Mr. Halaf Ahmed Al Habtour onto the stage? Good evening, Mr. Al Habtour. There are a total of 11 winners in the individual excellence category from the various units. Our first winner is from the Al Habtour Group Head Office. He is someone who plays a key role in the legal department. He is credited as being persuasive while recognizing that persuasion alone will not achieve results and therefore does his homework. Congratulations go to Amr Ahmed Murray, Legal Coordinator. Our next winner has been with the group since 1994, and he always has a smile on his face. He's dedicated, polite, and always willing to please. And guests have praised him for his good spirit. Congratulations to Dasan Kudam Vitti, a senior beach attendant at the Habtu Grand Beach Resort and Spa. Our next winner is someone who has been credited as providing guests with the utmost courtesy. She has received an innumerable amount of praise from management, her peers and guests alike. Congratulations go to Lucy Kaguri Mwangi, reception shift leader from the Metropolitan Gira Hotel. Our next winner has been commended for his commitment and hard work. He's a dedicated employee who can always be counted on. The winner is Hussein Fakhri, food and beverage manager from the Metropolitan Palace Hotel. We have three winners now from Al Habtour Motors. The first is someone who joined as a receptionist in 2007 and has advanced the company due to his hard work and determination. He is someone who is a good trouble, sorry, is someone who is good at troubleshooting and is respected by all. Please put your hands together for Anthony Rambano Lim, Body Shop Supervisor, Mitsubishi Service. Another Al Habtur Motors employee is recognized for his commitment and hard work. He's said to be the heart and soul of the Abu Dhabi Bentley showroom. He's someone who always puts the customers first. Congratulations to Basil Mohammed Farah, sales specialist for Bentley. The third winner from Al Habtour Motors is from Accounts. Our winner has been praised as someone who is trustworthy and honest, well-known well Habtourian traits, although we know him better than that. <laughs> Please put your hands together for Mustafa Youssef, Management Accountant. Moving on to Emirates International Schools, our first winner is someone who has been recognized for her collaborative and nurturing spirit. She has been praised for her engaging and fun lessons 
and is credited for her commitment, loyalty, and someone who's inspirational. Congratulations to Sarah Louise Waitling, a PE teacher and head of your 12 and 13 CAS coordinator at Emirates International School Meadows. Another winner from EIS, but this time from the Jumeirah campus. He is one of the unsung heroes of the group, purchasing manager. He has saved the schools lots of money by always being cost conscious without compromising on quality. Congratulations go to Nasser Khan. Now we move to Diamond Lees. This person has been with the group since 2005 and has worked his way up through ranks to an office assistant in the HR department where he provides assistance to the senior management. He's said to be, and I quote, a machine that never fails. No matter what his task is, he will ensure it is completed to perfection. A big round of applause, please, for Hibat Kunju. Also from Diamond Lease, someone who has been called a very good asset, resourceful, dedicated and dependable. He has been with the group since 2005 and still has lots of energy, a handy skill for a senior debt collector. Congratulations to Bijou Vargas. Congratulations to all our winners so far. Our next award is the Milestone Award. This is eligible for employees who have been with group for more than 15 years and recognizes their long-term commitment and contribution. If you look around the units, there are many people who have been here for over a decade. So the competition in this category is very, very tough. The first award, awardee has been a Hapturian for 30 years. She plays an important role with the Dubai government and ensures that her unit complies with all the rules and regulations of the government. She's also a great coach to the others, and when she first joined the group, she only had a typewriter to work with. Her role has evolved significantly since then. A warm round of applause to Hanan Muhammad Abdul Aziz Ali, <laughs> Government Relations Supervisor. The next award goes to someone who has been with the group for 28 years. 28 years of exemplary service that has been built on loyalty, honesty and trust, compounded with a vast amount of experience, knowledge and hard work delivered through those years. He is a great team player and a great colleague and a friend to all at Al Hab Tour Motors. Please put your hand together for Mr. Annan Nimmer, After Sales Director, Al Hab Tour Motors. Congratulations to all our winners so far. That wraps up the first part of our evening. Thank you to Shreya Bhatt and Joe Rogan. Thank you, Joanna. You're and Mr. Al Habtour, if you'd like to take your seat for a few moments, we have a little surprise for you. I'd now like to welcome onto the stage children from Emirates International School, The Meadows, who are going to perform a Korean dance.
The children range from years one to eight. While they're coming on stage, I'll just tell you a little bit about them. It really highlights the diversity of the school. There's more than 100 nationalities in its student body. Please welcome to the stage the children from Emirates International School. When you're ready. And I think we can all agree that certainly put a smile on everyone's faces. The performance was beautiful, the costumes were beautiful, and it was put together by the children and their parents. So thank you very much to EIS for that lovely, colourful performance. I would now like to welcome onto the stage the next co-hosts for the evening. A warm welcome to Laura Dickinson and Walid Seaman, Housing and Licensing Manager at Emirates International School. But before they speak, 
if I could please welcome back onto the stage our chairman, Mr. Halaf Ahmed Al Habtor. Assalamu alaikum. Good evening. It is now time to announce the winner of the Employees' Choice Award. The award, previously known as the Executive Leadership Award, is selected by the employees of each unit who get the chance to vote for who they believe is a worthy winner. The overall winner of the Employees' Choice Award is the one who received the most number of votes on a weightage average. But before we unveil the overall winner on group level, we would like to acknowledge the winners of each unit. If we could ask you just to remain in your seats and just to make yourselves known with a little wave. First, Youssef Shalabi, technical advisor to the chairman, Al Habtour Group. Janine Badawi, executive assistant director to the director of schools, Emirates International School. Saleh Chuli, Director Diagnostics and Technical, Product Training, Al Habtour Motors. Also, Al Habtour Motors support Roma Andros, Executive Director, Operations and HR Management Services. For Habtour Hotels at the Metropolitan Palace Hotel, the winner for front of house is Prashanth Janard Hanan, Director of Sales and Marketing. At the Metropolitan Palace Hotel back office, Adnan Gulzar Khan Sherwani, HR Manager. For the Metropolitan Dera Hotel back of house, Abdel Hamid Hassan Mohammed Hussein, Bar Supervisor. Habtour Grand Beach Resort and Spa, front of the house, Baba Rafilin Prina, Banquet Assistant Manager. Back office, Habtour Grand Beach Resort and Spa, Chef Mehdi El Idrisi. For Metropolitan Catering Services, Rupesh Das, Executive Chef. Diamond Lease Operations, Sassi Kumar, Deputy Manager, Operations. Diamond Lease Support, Ilias Anifa, Senior Manager, HR and Admin. Laundry support, Lancy Lestrado, Operations Manager, Metropolitan Laundry. For Habtour Hotels International, Omar Khalaf, Chief Financial Officer, and Rohit Garg, Director of Finance. The overall winner of the Employees' Choice Award is from the Metropolitan Deira Hotel, Assistant Reservation Revenue Manager, Mu'taz Mahmoud Muhammad Tawfiq. Congratulations. <laughs> Moving on to the CSR Award. Corporate social responsibility is a way for companies to do their part in society. We all know how important CSR is to the chairman, who has set up a foundation in his name to help promote peace and prosperity across the globe. His commitment to making the world a better place filters down to each and every one of us. There are endless CSR endeavors carried out throughout the units, but there can only be one winner. This year's winner is a unit that has helped the local community in many, many ways. It has been involved in eco-projects, including mangrove preservation preservation, protecting dolphins, and turtle rehabilitation. It has been active in numerous community awareness campaigns from breast cancer to diabetes. The list is endless. The 2015 CSR award goes to the one and only Emirates International Schools. Congratulations. Congratulations to all our winners so far, and a big thank you to Laura and Walid. Thank you. 
Ms. El Habtor, I'm going to ask you to stay exactly where you are for just a few moments longer while we introduce our next glamorous couple tonight. Janine Badawi, assistant to the director of schools at Emirates International Schools. And as you just heard, she's one of the winners of the Employee Choice Award. Joining her this evening is Chadi Aldik, Group Risk Management Manager from the El Habtor Group Head Office. Good evening, Mr. El Habtor, Joanna, ladies and gentlemen. It's good to be here. The next award is the Departmental Award. The objective of the award is to motivate the department to demonstrate innovation, leadership, and to deliver value. There are three winners in this category out of several nominations we received. The first award goes to a department that has helped put a smile on our customers' faces. As part of Al Habtur Motors' new customer charter, please put your hands together for Mitsubishi sales team. As you can see, there's quite a lot of them. Big smiles, gentlemen, please. The next award in this category goes to a behind-the-scenes department at Haptur Hotels. I will give you an example of one of their most recent achievements on a grand scale. The Al Haptur Group threw them a big challenge for its 45th anniversary celebrations, a VIP gala dinner for more than 650 guests was to be hosted at the Al Haptur City construction site. There was no kitchen or any facilities you would typically expect to hold a party of this scale. And not surprisingly so, the kitchen staff, led by award-winning chef Paul Hajj from the Habtour Grand Beach Resort and Spa, managed to pull it off without a hitch. They are worthy winners of this award. Congratulations to chef Paul Hajj and his team from the Habtour Grand. The third and final award in this category goes to a group of people who encourage positive learning and push students to achieve their targets. They identify and develop talent and continue to raise the bar for Emirates International School. The winner is the Year 4 team at Emirates International School Meadows. Congratulations. There's a little bit of girl power going on there. Moving on now to the Business Unit Award. The objective of this award, of this award is to motivate the business units to showcase business excellence and encourage positive thinking and to create and promote excellent standards of corporate management and governance. In the last 12 months, this unit has grown significantly. It has opened new showrooms throughout the UAE. 
Building a state of the art Bentley showroom on Sheikh Zayed Road. It announced a partnership with Luke Oil and it has established a bonded warehouse which has helped increase profitability. These are just some of the recent achievements under the leadership of Mr. Sultan Al Habtur, President of Al Habtur Motors, Mr. Ahmed Al Habtur, CEO and, CEO, and Carl Hamer, Managing Director, and the team. It's no secret who is the winner. Congratulations to Al Habtur Motors. Please be careful of the steps. I believe someone would like to say a few words. Respected chairman, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to all of you. It gives me and entire AHM management team immense pleasure receiving this award. It's a third time in a row. So thank you for all the efforts. I would like to say, couple of things that we would not have been able to make this unless without a guidance and direction from Mr. Sultan and Mr. Ahmad and a complete AHM management team and full people who has, who has been putting their best throughout the year. Year 2014 has come out very successfully for AHM. In Mitsubishi, we, reckon, we registered 38% year-on-year growth. And I'm pleased to report that while, uh, that today AHM is controlling 55% of Mitsubishi market share across GCC. <laughs> while AHM or Mitsubishi registered 38% growth, our next competitor could manage 15% growth, a difference of 153%, a very, very incredible performance from AHM. Apart, <laughs> apart from that, we repeated our performance in Bentley. We have been awarded number one dealer in the world once again. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we have also received award number one dealer in the world for McLaren. I must, think. I need to, I, need, I'm, I don't want to trouble you always, so let me finish it quickly. The, the good thing is that the performance has remained very well, and we are very much, we are very much geared to take up 2015. We always count on our chairman's word that what we did yesterday, let us all work together and do it better today. With that specific message from our chairman. We are very much geared for 2015 and will continue to deliver the best and reach to the highest performance. Thank you very much for your time and enjoy the evening. In the past, there was just one winner in this category. But this year, the management thought there were two wealthy winners. So by popular demand, they added another business unit because under the direction of Ms. Amna al Habtur, it has achieved an outstanding performance. A big round of applause, please, for the Emirates International Schools. Congratulations. Hamda, the daughter of Ms. Amna al Habtur, who is also a student in EIS, will be receiving this award along with EIS principals and managers.
Ladies and gentlemen, uh, only a few words from me, um, just to congratulate and thank our chairman uh, on his foresight many years ago uh, in opening what was then the first international school in Dubai, uh, a model that has been followed by many uh, since then. Uh, and to thank the chairman of our school board, Mr. Mohammed, uh, and our director, Ms. Amna, for their consistent guidance. And, and just for the trust you've placed in us, because we deal in and we add value in a very different way to many other parts of the group. And what we deal with uh, is the value we can add to your children uh, and our children, some of whom you've seen on stage today, and I'm sure you're very proud of what they achieve. So thank you very much for your constant support, and thank you again, Mr. Khalaf. Thank you. Thank you, Shadi, and thank you, Janine. That thank was you. a lovely, um, lots of promises there from our two winners. Very nice to see. Congratulations to all our winners so far. And speaking of Emirates International School, Ms. al another surprise for you. So if you'd like to take your seat yet again, thank you. Please now welcome onto the stage, Chris Garden, head of year seven, head of music at Emirates International School, Jumeirah, and year 11 student, Noor Sharif. Joining them on the piano is Fiona Fielding, also from EIS Jumeirah. And they're going to perform a duet called The Prayer, composed by David Foster. Just give them a few moments to set up.
Commissioner Fielding. You can't hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, wonderful. Well, I'm sure we can all agree that was really amazing and it showcases the talents yet again of EIS. Mr. Al Habtour, I'm sure you're now in a relaxed mo mood, but I'd like to invite you back onto the stage, please, to continue the award ceremony. Our next four awards have been kept a secret and have been chosen by the chairman himself. I have three of them hidden in the envelope here, and I don't know who they are. The final award will be unveiled by the chairman himself. The winners are people who have created an inclusive environment that develops, empowers, engages, and motivates his or her staff with the result of greater productivity and effectiveness. These are people who act with foresight and professionalism, and this is what's expected of all Haptorians throughout the group. So without further ado, I hope they're here tonight. <laughs> Okay, our first winner of the Distinction Award for 2015, and this is in no particular order, Mr. Omar Halaf, <laughs> Chief Financial Officer. <laughs> Mr. Omar Halaf is a Chief Financial Officer at Haptor Hotels. Congratulations. Our next Distinction Award winner for 2015, Yaya Harfouch, Director of Projects, Al Haptor Group. <laughs> Mr. Yaya, congratulations. And our final winner in this category, please welcome back to the stage, Chef Paul Hajj, <laughs> Director of Culinary, Al Haptor Group. <laughs> Chef Paul, you're running out of space on your ribbon. now for our very last award of the evening and the most prestigious of all awards and something we should all strive to get, the highly coveted Chairman's Award, which is handpicked by the Chairman himself. So without further ado, Mr. Al Habtour, I'd like to ask you to take to the other podium, please, to unveil the winner. I think uh, you discover all the secrets. I mean... <laughs> Uh, thank you, uh, Joanna. Thank you, everybody. Um, I choose this year for the Chairman Award, Mr. K.P. Raja. Gentlemen, if I could distract you, please, for a few moments. Would either of you like to say a few more words? Mr. K.P. Rajan, an acceptance speech, perhaps? <laughs> Mr. Halaf, a few more words? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. It is really, and thank you to the media department, Nora and Joanna and their team. You did a great job. I know you did this, I mean, beautiful thing, but you are char uh, costing us a lot of money and from our budget. <laughs> next time, <laughs> I think Mr. Raja could not control that. You know, next time you have to be very careful. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much. You did a great job.
Um, we are here, I mean, celebrating our excellence award, and inshallah, we will continue doing this for the success of our group. I don't want to repeat what I have said last year or every speech um, that, you know, but that truth, without you, we cannot do anything. Without you, we will not achieve what we have achieved. Now we are going always and forward, ahead. Our group recognized not only in the United Arab Emirates or in the Arab world, but we are going overseas, working, planning. We are not just running, we are studying. We are putting several scenarios, several alternatives for any project we want to expand overseas or going with the United Arab Emirates. We are expanding heavily here in the United Arab Emirates, in particular, this beautiful city, Dubai, which is the jewel of the world, I call it, not only of the Gulf, which, you know, we are growing with the United Arab Emirates and commitment from myself and on your behalf, ladies and gentlemen, we will grow always with our country forward and ahead, and we will carry always UAE flag up. We have to be our, all of us here, as an ambassador of Al Haptur Group, everywhere we go, even in your holiday, even in this, respect is required. And this tonight, uh, we are missing uh, Carl Hammer, our managing director of Al Haptur Motors. Unfortunately, he went for important job, but he is in the air now, Ahmed. Huh? I wish him, I wish he's here. Also, I would like all of you here to pray for one of our member of our directors, uh, Derek, who is in the hospital. He is one of the people which he did a great job for us, and we have to pray for him that fast recovery and God protect him and bless him. Yeah. Um, I don't have a lot of things to say except to thank you very much, and we want we should not accept that we are a follower. We have to be a leader all the time. And believe me, we are the best. And you, have the, you are the best people. You are the quality. You are the people. I personally need you. I need you because you are strong, knowledgeable. Not only we talk, we do. But we do with our study. We do with our scenario, scenario alternatives and the study. And I promise you, we put all our hands together. I mean, we are benefiting all of us if we succeed. And we will succeed provided that we are transparent to each other. And we should not, you know, if there is something wrong, my door is open, you should come and lick the door and you can't meet me. I mean, there is no barrier between I as a chairman of the group and, with, and any other director or a junior in the group. Thank you very much and enjoy your evening. Thank you. Just when he thought he could get away, we need Ms. El Habtour to stay just a little bit longer for some photographs with the, all the winners this evening. But a massive congratulations to everyone tonight, not only the winners, but the nominees as well. Please give yourselves a big round of applause. And thank you to the chairman for that lovely speech. I'd now like to invite everyone back to the stage. All the winners, please, for a group photograph. I'd also like to invite Sultan Al Habtour, Mr. Ahmed Al Habtour, Mr. Mohammed Al Habtour up to the stage. And while I, everyone's gathering in place, just a reminder of our social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Please use the hashtags EEA2015 or AHG45 years, both one words.
That wraps up the 2015 awards ceremony. Please enjoy the rest of the evening.